Strasbourg is one of the de facto four main capitals of the European Union, alongside Brussels, Luxembourg, and Frankfurt, as it is the seats for the several European institutions such as European Parliament, the Eurocorps, and the European Ombudsman of the European Union. I'm Ken from Travel the World with Dorkin. If you are new for my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and click notification bell so that you will be notified if I uploaded my new travel experience video. Enjoy watching Ken from Travel the World with Dorkin. Canal boat cruise is worth it? Yes, it is worth it, particularly the Strasbourg, the 20 centuries of history tour. But if you want a more in depth reviews and some insider tips, keep reading the history before you do your canal cruise in Strasbourg, France. In this video, I will share my personal insights about the tour and help you decide if worth it adding to your stress board itinerary. I've been here twice and not too far from our home, just an hour and a half, and we spent only for our weekend escape. Few companies offering their service. They offer several circuits of different lengths, ranging from 17 to 70 minutes. Each tour comes with an audio guide and the choice of an open top boat. If you have a stunning weather during your visit in Strasbourg, France. Twenty Centuries of History Tour is one of my favorite if we visited of some countries. It is also the most popular circuit they have. Strasbourg is the aquatic city, its historic center, and UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It's an island surrounded by the water, river that has shaped its identity. And what's better way to discover this city than to sail or its water? We choose the 70 minutes boat tour and I saw the Strasbourg top attractions and learned some fascinating anecdotes about its history. The tour started next to the Rouhan Palace and followed to the Third River to the Vauban Dam. Passing La Petite France, it is the loop around the Grand Isle and made its way to the European Parliament before returning to the palace. It's not just a simple boat trip, it is the real plunge into the Strasbourg history, a unique opportunity to discover its hidden treasures and adventures that take you back in time. Since the 19th century, Batorama has been taking the career use on the journey down the third, revealing the charms of the Alsanian capital from a unique angle. It is like rediscovering the cities of Strasbourg. Entering the picturesque Petit France district, passing through the locks, visiting the European Parliament, it's an experience I never tire of, of one and always delighted to share with my friends when they are come to visit me in Germany.
Strasbourg has played such an important role in shaping modern Europe and this tour is perfect for anyone who wants to learn more about it. If you want to see everything that makes Strasbourg, this is the tour to take. During this tour, I saw tons of beautiful buildings with this type of architecture in the new stadt, Krotinau, and the European districts. More were a mix of French and German style, but were a few that reflected uh, one culture more than to the others. Given that Strasbourg has changed hands between Germany and France so many times ago, it seems logically that it is be a capital along with the Brussels of what would eventually become the European Union. And today, Strasbourg shares the administrative responsibilities of the European Parliament with the Brussels and Luxembourg. Did you know that Vauban began work in Strasbourg in October 1681 when designing the new fortifications for the city? He used the existing defenses as much as possible while adding new elements including the citadel fortress which replaced the eastern wall of the Crotinau. The barrage Vauban was built to protect the perceived weak points of the city defenses. The ponds covered the house of the garrison of between 5,000 and 6,000 soldiers brought it to the man defenses. A series of barracks were built inside the walls on the land that was either under roofs or reserved for a military use. The military presence left the mark with the other buildings in the city, including the military hospitals built in 1695. The governor's house is the Rue de la Nueva Blue and the municipality arsenal, which included the Royal Cannon Foundry in 1703, at the place do Marcio Ox Chivox, the place where the Brugli. A city of two worlds, Strasbourg is a unique blend of French and German cultures, and the city has been passed back and forth between the two countries. Several times throughout the history, this cultural fusion is reflected in the cities of architectures, cuisine, and even its dialect, Alsatians with combined elements of both French and German. It is the home of the European Parliament. Strasbourg is an important political hub serving as the official seats of the European Parliament, one of the main government bodies of the European Union. In addition, the city is also home to the Council of Europe and the European Court and the Human Rights. A city of first, Strasbourg is known for its cutting-edge technology and innovating spirit. In 1642, the city famous astronomical clock, the astronomical clock as Strasbourg Cathedral, became one of the first clock in the world to display the faces of the moon, and it's the 1888 
the city was one of the first in the world launched in the public transportation system, the Strasbourg Tramway. Strasbourg is a city of the Christmas tree. is a famous for its annual Christmas market, one of the oldest and the largest Christmas market in Europe. Visitors from all over the world flock to the city of Sample, traditional Alsantian cuisine, enjoy love music, and shop for the handmade gifts and decorations. A city of culinary delights, Strasbourg is a food lover's paradise with a rich of culinary traditions that features dishes like the turtle flambe, crumcote, and the Vic Ofer. The city is also home for the several Michelin started restaurants, offering some of the best dining experiences in France. A city of cultural richness, from its world-class museum and theaters to its vibrant festival scene, Strasbourg is a city that timings with the cultural richness. The city is the home of several owned institutions, including the Museo de Art Moderne, its contemporary, this is Strasbourg, and the Strasbourg International Film Festival. The oldest bridge in Europe, the Ponts Coverts, is the Strasbourg or the oldest bridge in Europe that still serves their original purpose. Dating back to the 14th century, this bridge are now a symbol of the city and the popular spots for the tourists to take it in the scenic view of the surrounding area. A city of canals. Strasbourg is known for its networks of canals, which were once used to the transportations and commerce, and are now popular tourist attractions. The Petit France Quarter is the particularly picturesque, with its the half timbered houses, narrowed streets, and charming canal sites restaurants. Some tips for saving money while visiting Strasbourg. Walk or use a public transportation. The city center is easy walkable and you can save money on transportation by exploring on your foot. Alternatively, you can use the city efficient public transportation system which includes buses and trams to get around the city. Stay in a budget hotel or hostel, there are many budget-friendly accommodations options in Strasbourg, including hotels and a budget hotels. Booking in advance can help you find the best deals. Exploring the city with free attractions. The city is the home to the many free attractions, including parks, gardens, and squares. Take a stroll along the Third River Visit the place Cleaver or Palace Gutenberg or explore the Petit France district, all without spending a dream of money. Eat like a local. Strasbourg is the famous for its cuisine, but dining in the city restaurants can be expensive. To save money considering eating at the local markets, such as the Marche Couvert, 
or trying the city famous Tarta Flambe and then crispy pizza like dish. Take advantage of a free events Strasbourg is the home to many free events throughout the year, including concerts, festivals, and exhibitions. Check the city tourist websites for all, for all the schedules of the event. By following these tips, you can visit Strasbourg on a budget and enjoy all the city has to offer without breaking the bank. Another budget-friendly option to explore Strasbourg is to do a self-guided walking tour and scavenger hunt. The tour is designed for all the ages. It is the interactive and engaging way to discover the history, culture, and the hidden gems of Strasbourg. You learn fascinating facts about the city, solve the riddles, the most important, have lots of fun. This tour is perfect for the family, friends, and also the solo travelers who want to explore the city in a unique and exciting way. As you embark on your tour of Strasbourg, you will be swept away by the city enchanting old town, where is the half-timbered houses and the winding cobblestone street. Take a stroll down to the picturistic street and be transported back in the time of the medieval era. You'll discover some of the city's most iconic landmarks, such as a Notre Dame Cathedral, the Barats Bauban, and the Palais Rouen. These historic buildings are the stunning example of the city's rich architectural heritage and are sure to leave you in the awe. So take a deep breath and immerse yourself in the beauty and the history of this charming city. But the tour is not only about sightseeing. As you wander through the street, you will be solving riddles and answering questions that will lead you to discover the hiding gyms. You also learn about the history of Strasbourg. I'm Ken from Travel the World with Dorkin. Thank you for your love and support to my channel. Feel free to leave your comments about what did you see or any feedbacks that will help my channel to improve in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell so that you will be notified if I uploaded my new travel experience video. Stay safe and take care.